What's up guys, welcome back. I've been seeing a lot of you guys have a lot of fun at Mardi Gras this past week on social media and it had me thinking about my favorite New Orleans inspired recipe. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious jambalaya. In my opinion, this is the ultimate one pot meal. It's loaded with flavor. We got chicken, we got andouille sausage, the holy trinity. But before we get into the recipe, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's take a look at these ingredients. Nice and simple stuff today. We've got the holy trinity, which is comprised of onion, bell pepper, and celery. I like to throw a little jalapeno in the party to spice things up a little bit. That's totally optional. For the protein, we've got chicken. I'm using boneless, skinless chicken thighs, but chicken breast would work here as well. And I have andouille sausage. For the pork patrol out there, you can use a chicken or turkey variety. They even have beef options for you. We've got All right, guys, so for this recipe, I like to use chicken thighs because it has a higher fat content and it's less likely to dry out during the cooking process. So let's take a look at these chicken thighs. I'm just gonna cut them down into bite-sized pieces. I'm leaving the fat on there because fat is flavor. It's gonna render down and add some more flavor to the jambalaya and help prevent the chicken from drying out. You wanna you know, make them about fork size bites. So that's about what we're going for right there, maybe a half inch or so in size. Just try to make sure they're about as even as you can. The thinner side, the, the thinner side of the chicken can be a little bit bigger because it's gonna cook a little faster because it's thin. If you want to trim some of that fat, guys, it's totally up to you. I'm not going to be mad at you, but again, I like to leave it on. Adds flavor and moisture to the situation. Now, as for the seasoning blend for the chicken, we're going down with my triple threat, which is my AP seasoning, my lemon bay, which has got some great uh, Cajun flavors in it as well, along with my hot AP. You can also use like Tony's or whatever your favorite Cajun or Creole seasoning is or whatever your favorite all-purpose seasoning is. This is low sodium, so you can be a little bit more heavy-handed with it, get some good flavor in there and some good color, especially with that lemon bay that's going to bring the color and the flavor for sure. Just get in there with your hands, massage that in, make sure it's evenly coated, and this will be ready for our skillet momentarily. Now for this recipe, we're using two cups of long grain white rice. We're gonna wash it first. The best way to do that is with a mesh strainer like this one right here, and just run your water over the rice about three or four times until the water runs clear. As you can see, that water is everything but clear. So you wanna just do that a couple times until it's nice and clear and you know your rice is clean. It removes some of the starch. It's gonna make it nice and fluffy. And plus, you don't wanna eat dirty rice. All right, guys, so we have our skillet warmed up over medium heat. We got a little avocado oil or olive oil, whatever you got. To that, we're gonna go ahead and add in about one pound of diced andouille sausage. Andouille sausage is super common in Cajun and Creole cuisine. If for some reason you don't like it, you probably don't like jambalaya, but you could also substitute it if you want to with a beef sausage or you know whatever you like, guys. It's your kitchen, you can make the recipe your own. But today we're going with andouille sausage. And we're doing that first, that way the andouille sausage really releases some of its flavor into the bottom of the skillet, which is gonna add flavor to the rest of our dish. So we're just gonna toast that up and brown it, probably five to six minutes. Remove it with a slotted spoon and go in with our chicken. All right guys, so once the andouille sausage is nice and brown, like you see right here, we're gonna go ahead and remove it, leaving behind all that flavor. That's why you wanna use a slotted spoon like this one. Scoop it out, and then we're gonna cook our chicken right in that same skillet. Now to help the chicken out a little bit, we're gonna add a little butter, because butter makes everything better. In goes the chicken thighs. Try to give them a little breathing room so they can brown up nicely. Man, it smells good already. Right. And that, my friends, is what you want to see on your chicken. Remember, that sear 
is going to add color, flavor, and texture. Very important. So do your best to get some nice coating or nice crust on your chicken pieces. Doesn't get much better than that. You don't want a bunch of gray chicken in your jambalaya. Alright guys, so at this point you want your chicken most of the way cooked through. It's going to fully cook or finish cooking in the actual jambalaya, but we're about 80% of the way there right now. Got the color that we're looking for, so we're going to remove it. And we'll add it back in towards the end of the jambalaya cook. If you want to cook it all the way through, you can, but then you kind of run the risk of drying it out by the end of the recipe. So just keep that in mind. And now, my friends, it's time to add the Cajun Trinity plus a jalapeno. Onions, bell pepper, and celery going in. They're immediately going to kind of soak up all that flavor and fond off the bottom of the skillet. They'll start to release some of their water as well and kind of steam up a little bit, soften up. House is smelling good. All right, so once the veggies are most of the way cooked down, we're going in with a couple tablespoons of garlic. You can use fresh garlic, minced garlic, or this garlic paste. Don't be shy with it though. Followed by some tomato paste. This guy has some concentrated tomato flavor, some good color, a little hint of background sweetness to balance everything out. We're going with about two tablespoons of that. We're also going to add a couple tablespoons of fresh herbs. We've got some rosemary and thyme in there, a teaspoon of Louisiana hot sauce. A couple teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder to amplify the flavor profile. A couple teaspoons of worst word in the world sauce. Give that a mix. Now we're going in with two cups of clean rice. We're going to toast that for a couple minutes, so just mix that in to combine with everything. Allow that rice to begin to toast nicely. Two or three minutes and then we'll add in our chicken broth. Bring that up to a boil. So after a couple minutes, we're going in with four cups of good quality chicken broth or chicken stock. We're going to give that a mix, bring that up to a boil. And then we'll reduce it down to a simmer covered with the lid for about 15 minutes or until the rice is most of the way cooked. Then we add back in the chicken and andouille sausage until the chicken's fully cooked, season to taste, and you got yourself a delicious jambalaya. All right, so as you can see, we're just about done. We're approaching about the final, you know, five to 10 minutes or so. Once the rice is done, we're gonna be done. But we're going ahead and adding in the sausage and the chicken. No flavor left behind here. Just gonna mix that in. Allow that rice to finish cooking. We're gonna fetch those bay leaves out of there in a minute. Oh man, that looks good. Gonna go down with a little smoked paprika. Couple final dashes of some more seasoning. You can add some Cajun seasoning right here. And just let it cook, let the, you know, the rice absorb all that flavor. Let everything kind of come together and steam. The liquid will start to evaporate. The rice will absorb everything that it can and it'll get nice and tender. And you're gonna have a fantastic jambalaya for your meal prep, for lunch, for dinner, really any occasion. You could add some shrimp to this if you want or some seafood, totally customizable recipe. Doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Now the last thing we're gonna add is about a half cup of diced green onion. That's gonna add some nice flavor and some color to the situation. We're gonna fetch out those bay leaves. They've done their job. In about another two or three minutes, we'll be good to go.
And this is the part where I say, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. The only thing left to do is get in here for a taste test. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. That, my friends, looks like the perfect bite. We got andouille sausage. We got chicken. We got rice. What's up guys, welcome back. Mardi Gras was recently and it had me thinking about my favorite. Mardi Gras was recently. Mardi Gras came and went and it had me thinking about Mardi Gras came and went and it had me thinking about my favorite one pot meal, which is jambalaya. I think I should mention Mardi Gras, it would be too late. 